Hi, my name is Eric Gibbons, and I'm an author, inventor, and teacher. And I have a video that I shared with over 100,000 people to show you how to make an N95 style mask with an HVAC filter. This is a MERS 14 filter, and it contains no fiberglass. However, I'm here to talk to you about the pulse oxygen meters that are available for only $50 on Amazon because they can save your life if you have COVID-19. These are not for the well and there's no need to hoard these. There'll be links in the descriptions where you can get them. However, the blood oxygen levels for normal human beings is 94% or higher. If it goes lower than that, you're not going to know it but doctors and ERs are reporting that people are walking in with 50% blood oxygen levels, and they're just amazed. Again, there's gonna be links to these reports in the descriptions, but people who are walking around can't normally have a blood oxygen level of just 50%. They shouldn't be able to talk either, but there is one set of people that can, and those are the people who made it to the top of Mount Everest. It takes weeks and weeks of training to get your body to be able to work with only 50% oxygen. So what's happening is that doctors are saying people are succumbing to the COVID virus in their lungs very, very slowly. So slowly, you don't even know that it's happening. And the only way to monitor it is with a blood oxygen meter. So what's happening is um, if you can monitor your blood oxygen levels, you'll know earlier if you're having a problem. If your blood oxygen drops below 90%, then you know that there's an issue. There are many things that you can do at that point, and they can include breathing exercises, special sleeping positions, um, and maybe even extra tanks of oxygen. But if your blood oxygen gets below 90% and you are positive for COVID, you need to contact your doctor so that they can start early therapies with you and you don't end up on a ventilator. If you end up on a ventilator, the chances of survival drop significantly. So it's important to do everything else you can before then. And a blood oxygen meter is probably the best thing that you can do for yourself. There's going to be lots more in the description about this, but remember to stay smart and stay safe. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and share this with your friends.